this is Jan from Electronic Orange and I would like to introduce this new Teremin unit I designed for Videra company. And those guys have recently brought it to the market, so it's uh, about time to, to say a few words about Teremin, what it is and how it works. We've got a pole antenna, it's actually, actually telescopic, so we can fold it carefully. Uh, when you move your arm around the antenna, you actually uh, get close with your palm to the antenna. The pitch goes high and the pitch goes low. And the sound actually dies. Apart from that, we've got a main switch, we've got a power socket, and we've got an audio output for a guitar cable. panel we've got two parts for tuning the sensitivity of the of the pole it's a, a little screw I don't think you will have to really use the little screw that's for rough tuning and it, it's been tuned after manufacturing uh, you've got a, a big knob uh, labeled as adjust and there's a part for tuning actually yeah so then you tune the sensitivity of the pole if the sensitivity by time, if the sensitivity gets out of range of the big guy, then use the screw. Use a small screwdriver and readjust the screw so so you get back to the back to the range of the big knob. When you want to use your theremin on stage, first of all, make sure that there are no people or things around it. They would interact with the pole and you don't want that. You want the pole to interact just with, your, just with your palm. After that, turn the volume knob on your up down because the output is quite powerful. You don't want to harm your ears or anything. And after that, just turn it on. Sometimes you hear the sound, sometimes you don't. In both cases, you have to turn this big knob to get a deep sound. Like that, say. You see? The active zone is now, is now quite narrow. The sound dies within a distance of 20 centimeters or something. You want it bigger, slightly bigger. A uh, little turn of the big knob means a big changes in the active zone, so be patient and do it very slowly and carefully. It's fine. So, there we go. Now we are ready to make some psychedelic sounds.